It is the 31st of the 8th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to make it quick tonight. It's late. I worked. Starting on uh, earthchangescott.net, we have a volcano south of Mexico City is shooting blast of ash from its crater. The Pupuca Te Petel volcano. Mexico's National Disaster Prevention Agency says the volcano has spewed ash more than a half a mile or a kilometer into the sky four times Tuesday. It says there is possibility ash could fall onto Mexico City overnight. So we have a major eruption just south of Mexico City. We've got a story, uh, story extreme 2010 Russian fires and Pakistan floods linked to meteorology. Uh, the research finds the same large-scale meteorological event, an abnormal Rossby wave, sparked extreme heat and persistent wildfires in Russia, as well as a, an unusual downstream wind patterns that shifted rainfall in the Indian monsoon region and fueled heavy flooding in Pakistan. And uh, Mount Etna in Sicily puts on a natural fireworks show. They have video of this. She's definitely uh, popping off some lava pretty good. Britain's summer coolest in nearly 20 years and uh, with them finding that new cold current coming down um, by Ireland uh, that's no surprise at all. Typhoon Nanmandal leaves 16 dead in the Philippines and that it's on its way to China. US tropical storm uh, Katia Rose expected to become a hurricane, and they're predicting it up to a Category 3 uh, in about five days. They've got a story, mental illness rise ranked to climate change. Uh, again, and this is, they're saying post-traumatic stress due to, you know, extreme weather and the heat and the flooding and whatnot, which is to be expected. The Banda Sea earthquake, magnitude 6.8. And uh, that's a volcanic area. It's been uh, there's a little volc there's a earthquake swarm going on around um, uh, where is it? Vanuatu. Hundreds stranded in Vermont amid epic flooding. And again, Irene just dumped in on the New England of the United States and just extensive flooding and damage going on. Still, people without power. Uh, they're talking for weeks yet to come and another hurricane brewing in the Atlantic. Um, definitely a serious situation. And uh, the Russian uh, volcano story I put out yesterday, disrupting air traffic, <clears throat> which is, uh, they fly over, you know, around Alaska. The international flights were Signs of unrest at famous Tambora Caldera in Indonesia. Uh, eruptions under Martin pointing to a new report, Indonesian, from the Volcanology Survey in Indonesia that raises the alert level of one of Indonesia's most famous volcanoes, Tambora. Now, many of you volcano enthusiasts would remember Tambora from 1815 when it produced one of the largest eruptions in the past few thousand years. This eruption threw enough material and aerosols into the atmosphere to cause significant global cooling, producing the year without a summer. Where have I heard that before? <clears throat> Katla, which is having um, its activity as well underneath its glacier. And they got the Katia, or Katia story. And, uh, yeah, here's that story. Banda Sea earthquake reignites seismic swarm near Vanuatu. And that's, again, on the Pacific Plate, uh, north of New Zealand. <clears throat> and a very active volcanic area. And mystery deepens behind Windsor. Unusual rumbling noise. And for weeks... Residents of Windsor, Ontario have been complaining about a mysterious rumbling that is shaking them out of the sleep. So far, no one, including the Interior Ministry of the Environment and Federal Agency of Earthquakes in Canada, has any idea why. 
and apparently one of the city council member actually witnessed this event and uh, he's saying it's definitely sounds like an artificial vibration noise uh, coming from the business district and um, they're not quite sure where it, what's causing it or uh, who's tracking it down or whatnot but they've got a video attached with that Comet Elenin disintegrating and breaking up as it approaches the sun now bear in mind the stories off of spaceweather.com uh, so much for Doomsday. Comet Elenin, widely known for its inaccurate reports of its threat to Earth, appears to be breaking apart. Observations by amateur, amateur astronomer um, of Australia showed rapid dimming and elongation of the comet's nucleus akin to the comet Linear, which also disintegrated when it approached the Sun in 2000. Uh, comets are fragile objects, so this development, while unexpected, comes as no surprise. Uh, readers with pertinent images of Elenin are invited to submit them, blah blah blah, at spaceweather.com. Um, bear in mind, Elenin's still going to cross the pass of the Earth. We are still going to approach and enter that debris field um, in early November. So now that Elenin has broken up officially, uh, it might be one heck of a, a light show come early November after all. But uh, nobody's saying anything about that. I don't think these chunks are just going to disappear, right? They just keep going on track like they normally would? They're just not big enough to see now? And Typhoon Namadal drops 20 inches of rain on Taiwan, leaves 16 dead in the Philippines, and of course, like I said, it's on its way to China. Over to the RSOE, uh, of course the historic flooding in Vermont. Da, da, da. We have forest fire in Montana in the, the Bitterroot National Forest. That is about it for me tonight. Of course, uh, if I forgot anything, please leave your comments below or attach your videos, of course. Um, Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.